It's when is the right time to, to have sex when you're dating? I love this question because it's it can be very complicated and it's not just a black and white answer. It's a bit nuanced depending on what you're looking for. So to preface this, I do not have any judgment on when you when you guys all or myself too on when anyone decides to have sex with someone there is nothing wrong with having a one night stand there is nothing wrong with having sex with someone on a first or a second or even a third date nothing at all however if what you're looking for is a long-term serious relationship then my best practice is to advise people to wait to have sex until you're in a relationship, until you have decided that you guys are going to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Here's my reasoning for this. If you don't do this, there is a higher risk that you're going to end up getting burned, so to speak, or taken advantage of by people who are just out there looking for a sexual experience. Again, not that there's anything wrong with that, but if that is not what you are looking for out of dating, then that's the best thing to do, is to wait until you're in an actual relationship. Sometimes when I say this, people get a little freaked out because they think, well, I'm probably gonna chase a lot of people away. Yes, yes you are. And that is exactly what we want. We want you to weed out the people who aren't on the same page as you. That's what this standard, that's what this boundary is for. So this doesn't mean that you can't do anything physically intimate before you get into a relationship. It just means holding off on actual sex until you guys have decided, yeah, you know what? We like each other enough to decide that we want to keep dating exclusively and we're gonna call each other boyfriend and girlfriend. Does not mean you have to wait until you're ready to get married or until your relationship is more serious, but just when you've decided that you don't wanna see anybody else and you wanna dedicate your time and energy to this one person and see how it goes. It can sometimes be a little bit tricky to communicate this to someone. So I'm gonna give you my suggestions here. So when you're starting to get to know someone and, and you're dating them and you're starting to get physical, at any point you can say, hey, I just wanna let you know my thing, what, what feels best to me is to wait until I'm in a relationship to have sex, but I'm totally okay with doing anything else before that. Or whatever your, your situation is, whatever your specific boundary is, that's a good way to communicate it. And you can also ask the other person, how do you feel about that? What is the pace that you normally go at in a relationship? And the person that is really serious about you, the person who really is interested in having you be their partner, they're gonna be like, all right, great, okay, I'm really looking forward to that time when we decide that we're in a relationship and then we can do that. The people who are not that interested in you, who are maybe just looking for a more casual thing, they're not gonna be okay with that and they're probably going to leave your life and good. Again, that's what we want to happen. We want to weed out the people that aren't serious about you so that you can find the one that is. When you're deciding to be boyfriend, girlfriend, this doesn't mean that this has to be the, the last relationship you're in and this is like the only relationship or like this is the person that you're gonna marry. No, the point of dating is to figure out if this is the right relationship for you long term. So, you date, you have sex for a while, you figure it out. If it's truly not working over the long term, then okay, I'd say that maybe this is not the right relationship for you. But very often, things can change. As you get to know each other, as you guys get more comfortable with each other, you can tell this person what you like, they can tell you what they like. It can improve over time. So I wouldn't necessarily say that you have to rule somebody out because the sex isn't good right away. It's definitely something that can be worked on in the relationship over time if everything else is working, like if, if you guys feel compatible in, in all the other ways. That's what a lot of people, like I, I read a lot of dating advice and I read a lot of um, what's going on in some of the dating forums. And people are very big on this, like, like we have to have sexual compatibility. I have to, we have to have sex early to make sure that we are compatible. 
That's not necessarily the case. And I know some people say that because they come from a relationship where it just, the, the sexual relationship was not good. But it's not something that you have to, like I said, to address very, in the very beginning. Being boyfriend, girlfriend, dating someone, it's to see if the relationship is for you in the long run. As far as the, the, the sexual compatibility goes, I don't know about you guys, but I have found that with a lot of the people that I've dated, that that has gotten better over time. Like it wasn't this, this amazing thing right from the get-go. As I got to know somebody and as we got more comfortable with each other, it did get better over time. And I think sometimes people forget that when they're dating because a lot of times we come from long-term relationships where we've been with someone for a long time and we know each other so well. And there's that, that familiarity and comfort when having sex. But yeah, I, I would not rule somebody out in the very beginning if, if it's not that great. It can definitely be worked on. Thank you so much for watching today. If you found this video helpful, click the like button and also hit the subscribe button. I come out with new live trainings every week. Also, if you're interested in working with me, click on my website link in the description below. It's livingfreehealing.us. You can also follow me at Instagram at livingfreefindinglove and... If you want to catch the next live broadcast, come on over to my free Facebook group, Finding Real Love. The link to all of these are in the description.